Hello, friends. It is I, Dylan. You remember? You got. You remember me, right? The last video I made was a doozy. It honestly is one of my favorite videos I think I've ever uploaded and I don't know why I got so crazy with the editing at times. I made some, I made two songs basically. I haven't checked but I'm pretty sure they're number one and number two on the iTunes newest hottest artist tracks list. It's a list. It's gotta be a list right? We are uh, oh, oh what is happening here? Timmy! What did you do to poor Jen? Previously on No Island, Bish Bish slept in before telling Allegra that she wasn't interested in pursuing a relationship with Massa, which may or may not have been true. Fuck you! Don't call me a liar. Narrator, go suck my dick. Coming up in this episode, the Islanders get crafty, and Allegra finally decides that Bish Bish gone too far. Okay, so obviously I can't make any sort of decision to not go too far. I can hardly wait. I've got the shakes. Just thinking about that. Are you a drug addict? I hope the shakes are from excitement anyway. Oh, you're literally copping to doing drugs? Cool. Otherwise, I might need to see a doctor. You might need to see your drug dealer. <laughs> Islanders, it's time to get arty. In today's challenge, you'll have three minutes to create masterpieces using your partner as a paintbrush. The girls will get the boys loaded. I was just searching for innuendo in my brain. I don't think there's anything there. Oh, wait. No, there is. No, there is. You know what? I don't even know if I want to say it because it's 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 pretty graphic. There's a body part that boys have that girls don't that when they are excited would get loaded with something else that girls don't have. Millions of little... Baby makers. You see where I was going with that now? Okay, great. And the boys will transfer the paint to the canvas. The couple who produce the best painting will receive a makeover before New Islanders arrive this evening. New Islanders, what? New people, oh my god. Best news ever. Talia's just sick of everybody here. She's like, finally. Let's get some new people in here. I'm sick of all y'all. Painting. Ah, uh, oh, supposed to practice the accent. Yeah, didn't do that, Dylan. <laughs> See, in high school, I just never did my homework either, and I just bullshitted my entire way through graduation. Painting, I, I hope I have the purple. I feel good in purple. And the boys are going to ride around using our body in the main Is that all right? You look kind of solemn. No way this dumb bitch knows what the word solemn means. This is a serious moment in my life. I have dreamed about this for a long time. What? You're acting super weird. Suffice it to say, being a human paintbrush has been on the top 10 sexy fantasy list ever since I was at 10. You have a top 10 sexy fantasy list. Do all guys? I feel like I might be out of the loop on that one. I mean, we all have things that we like. For instance, some guys might like getting spanked. And that's totally normal and cool. And people shouldn't judge those people who like it. Because sometimes it can feel good. I just, I'm not, I'm not saying me. I'm just saying some guys. And I don't judge those guys. Not that I'm one of those guys. But ladies in the future. <laughs> just keep that in mind. I couldn't even finish that joke. Tim's fantasy is pretty strange. I have to know why. I don't want to know why. Or you keep a list. No, you keep a list? You know the way that most people have a sp- What? What? The fuck is a spank bank? Well, mine's more of a spank in <laughs> Ew, so you're going to be getting off on- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, Tim, wear extra baggy pants, because that's weird. It's pretty weird to keep a fantasy list like that, mate. Thank you. All right, my song. He's on my side here. Dude, leave him alone. I bet all guys do it, or Mason's right, Tim. Now let's pick on this little bitch. Little five foot five bitch. Mason's right, Tim. You know, I'm saying that partially to get on Allegra's bad side. I know she's gonna pick a fight with me either way. So fuck her. Let's just egg her on. Fuck Zach. Oh, whoa, whoa. Kind of picked up a little bit of an accent there. That wasn't Tim's accent, though. Fuck sake. I shared something about myself. I, don't act like this is a good thing. I shared something. I shared a secret about myself, and you guys are judging me. 
That's because we know you're about to get hard getting rolled in paint. All you've done is shame me with it. I feel bad now. No, don't. He's weird. Whatever. I'm not embarrassed. As the others disperse to get ready, Miles walks up to you. Well, we certainly learned a lot from Tim. Now, just didn't we not come? Oh, so we're talking now? Or yeah, what a tool. I, how did we end with him? Last episode, we had no interaction with him whatsoever, and I forgot. You know my memory is awful. I forgot how we left off. Didn't we leave off on a good note? Yeah, I was taking the day bed. No, we're on a good note. Yeah, what a tool. He just doesn't understand, like, uh, what the reason of a thing to say. I think you need to give him a bit more credit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think you need to give him a bit more credit than that. I, I chose the answer where we're cool, and then Bish Bish just goes off on him. There's more to him than meets the eye, I reckon. I'm defending Tim? If you say so, I'd have to pay more attention to him. So, you're being unusually friendly. We need to be a grown-up about it, though. He puts his hand on your shoulder. Get off. Why don't you touch me without my consent, you shoulder-grabbing freak? I acted like a right numpty. I know, and messed it up for the pair of us. But we're still technically a couple. We have to do this stuff together. Sure sounds reasonable, or screw you, Blowhorn. The next time he fucks up, I will choose every answer to be like, fuck you. But for now, let's let's play it cool. We're both adults, we can act our age. While I use you as a giant paintbrush. Well, let's just crack on and try not to kill one another. I'm actually looking forward to this challenge, you know? Tries to blow off some steam. Blow off? You're like Tim with the paintbrush thing, huh? The girls have been armed with buckets of paint. The boys have been told to come as they are. The girls will call the shots. The boys will flop around on the ground covered in paint. But will our islanders be Michelangelo? Or Michelangelo? No. I slay me. You're the only one, narrator. Each of the girls is given several buckets of paint. All right, lads and lady. Oh, I'm giving him the accent now. Whoops. Three, two, one. Quick, bish, bish. I want this makeover. We have to make this a masterpiece. Get some paint on me. What paint should I use? Yellow paint, purple paint, or blue paint? Anything to cover up that chest tattoo. Honestly, I think purple's gonna go best with his red locks. So throw purple on him. I love purple. It really sets my head. I. That's that's the whole reason I chose it. I'm sensing a little rekindling with Miles here. Maybe we get together after all. <laughs> I literally chose purple because it matched his hair the best. To your left, you see Jen rubbing orange all over Levi's chest. No, I, let's just like throw the bucket at him. In fact, let's just launch the paint with inside the bucket at him. And then the bucket will hit his face and then it'll splash everywhere. <laughs> and then you'll have a concussion. Great. I'm not gonna rub it on him, I'm just gonna pour it on him. Are you kidding me? Oh wow, they are. How does she get so much colors on him already? She's got she's got yellow, blue, green, and orange. She's just trying to avoid getting any paint on herself. Is she? Cause she's kinda covered. Talia, working quickly, upends two whole pots of paint over Jake. He turns and flings himself on the canvas. Oh, hold on, let me animate this shit. So I'm Jake and I got the paint on me, so I'm like, God, I hope that looks good, because that made me feel really stupid. Up in the whole pot over him, smear it on him with your hands, or use your own body to coat him. Oh, wait, 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 I didn't choose anything! <gasps> the ladies of purple wash out, which, what did I choose? He grins and shakes his head like someone in a shampoo advert. <laughs> what should I paint? Just flail about passionately, a painting of me, or a painting of the ocean? Just blue. Are you back voiced? Okay, okay, my voice went on vacation for a second there. I'm a narcissist. Paint me. What, really? That's where the complicated. Oh, so you're not very good at art then, huh? What are you saying about my face? Bitch, calm down. It's not about your face. Our faces are hard to draw. He drops to his knees and starts outlining your face using the paints on his hand. Can you stop looking so goddamn angry? Right, lads, let's see what we've got. Everyone gathers around your area. Miles' picture of you is actually pretty good. Well, uh, he's got a great model to work with. Oh, wow. That was hot. He's good at arts. I'm way better at this than I thought. He's given you the most preposterously oversized boobs. Uh, bish, I'm a triple D. Wait, that's not a thing. 
Is it? He painted three boobs for me. <laughs> Triple D. You move across to where Mason and Allegro are standing. Mason's painting is two huge red circles. Allegro's boobs. <laughs> oh my god, those are boobs. That's a dick, actually. Allegra told me to paint my favorite thing about her. Allegra has a dick? What, so you painted a pair of balls? <laughs> no, your butt! Oh, wow, that's your favorite thing about her? Not her personality, is her ass? Good job. It looks like balls. Well, your ass looks like balls. It's very angry, badly painted, or flattering. Uh, what does angry mean? I'm a conceptual artist. I need to say things that are vague to make myself seem more like an artist. It's very angry. There's an awkward silence. Good job, bish bish. Kill the mood. Next. <laughs> Levi's painted a full length portrait of Jen. Orange against orange backgrounds. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was trying to do like a golden sunset. Mm. It looked like someone melted a person's face. Everyone moves across to Jake and Talia's painting. Why do I feel like this is gonna be good? Oh my God. I call it Tim's human paintbrush. It's hilarious, I love it. Hey, don't get on her good side, she's mine. She hugs him, I get off him. I think it's hilarious, childish, or impressive. Let's look at the faces of everybody else. Tim's into it, Jen's like, nah, Levi's like, nah. Allegra's angry. And the other two are like, indifferent. Fuck you, Jake, that shit's childish. I'm never telling any of you guys anything personal ever again. Tim's canvas is next. Wow. Mm. It's meant to represent like the struggle to express, oh, don't even start. I'm a conceptual artist in this game. I have the authority to say what's bullshit about art and what's not bullshit. And what you're saying is bullshit. Express true individuality in this age of commodified identity. Yeah, no, no, bullshit. Right then, time to take a shower. Oh wait, I have a tap. Wait, we gotta choose who wins. Islanders, it's time to decide the winners of today's challenge. Please vote by text for the couple whose painting you think is the best. Winners will get to dress up in a neon color party with two new Islanders. So please keep your body paint on, on until then. Right, typical new arrivals and I'm bright orange and not allowed to wash it off. Everyone turns to discuss with their partners. I can't decide which one is worse. I leave it up to you. Who do I want to win this challenge? Jen and Levi, Erica and Tim, Talia and Jake, or Allegra and Mason? Talia and Jake are gonna get votes because it was like comedic and it was artistic in that way. Erica and Tim's were bad. Allegra and Mason, oh the balls. But I can't vote for Allegra, fuck her. Jen and Levi. They won the first competition. I don't think they're gonna win two competitions in a row. So I'm gonna vote for them thinking that they're not gonna get any other votes. So if we get two votes, that'll put us at a victory, right? Strategy. Sure, I thought ours was better than theirs, but I guess we can't throw through ourselves. You send the text and turn to where everyone is chatting. You look so good in green and gold, Erica. I wish I'd gone for those. You actually look really good in purple, Miles. Thanks, Brish Brish made the right choice there. So, You walk back down the path to the villa. Coming up next, Allegra finally kicks off. We need to talk, honey. But whose side will Mason take? And can Bish Bish convince them to call it a day? Find out next on... Love Island! with these round ones, I like to put an M&M &M between them. In the hole. There was a hole filling joke there, but I'm on break. I don't feel the need to make it. Let's do another one, but only because I want to see if our painting won. Not because I want to play, you know? Allegra's Reckoning, that's what this episode is called. After the painting challenge, the Islanders return to the villa. All day, Allegra's been telling Bish Bish to keep away from Masson. Looks like Masson didn't get the memo though. Oh, he found me, huh? As you arrive at the entrance, Mason bounds over and falls into step beside you. Ah. 
Hey. I was just going to head inside, or how are you getting on? No, she's she's gonna fight me anyways. The episode's called Allegra's Reckoning. No matter what I choose, she's going to fight me. And I'm down. I want to get into a little scrap, a little cat fight, a little, a little hair pulling, a little Nicki Minaj Cardi B action. How are you getting on? I just wanted to say something real quick. Allegra breaks off talking to Jen and walks towards you and Masson. I just want to say, like, ah, what, what? Allegra's coming over. Oh my god, that's so funny. See you later, bye, or yes. No, continue. Continue. What's up? What's up, Masson? I just wanted to say, wanted to say what? Oh, hey, babe. Nothing. I was just talking to Bish Bish. Ooh. Allegra sighs. We need to talk, honey. She drags Masson inside. The paint-covered islanders are recovering from the day's exertions. Most of them are lying around the lawn, but not everyone is quiet in the villa. Out of the hot afternoon haze, Allegra comes striding towards you. Um, Bish Bish, can we have a word? She keeps saying this. Every time she approaches me, she's like, can we have a word? Just say what's on your fucking mind. You don't gotta ask me. Sure thing, you should talk to Mason or we've talked enough. I really want to answer, we've talked enough, but I also want to know what is up her butt. Not Mason's dick. Now I'm gonna continue to take the high ground. I'm gonna continue to take the high ground, sure thing. This morning when I did the reasonable diplomatic thing and asked you what your plans for Mason were, are you talking yourself up? When I took the high road this morning and asked you, you said that you weren't interested in him. But then today you've spent so much time with him. When? Lingering outside the door just now, like, waving it in my face. Oh, fuck. All the way off. And you even went and saw him in the morning. I saw you all in the bedroom, laughing away. It wouldn't even be a problem if you just, like, admitted that you were into him. Are you accusing me of being snaky? <laughs> snaky? Yes, babes, I am. Snaking around behind my back. Behind my back. Around behind my back. When I spoke to you yesterday and told you to leave off Mason, you were all chill about it. That was a lie, wasn't it? Allegra's still accusing me. You're right, or I'm not into Mason. You know what? I'm not into Mason. I've been saying it since the very first video that I've done. However, she's pushed me one too many times. I said, I'm taking your dude. I'm taking him. You're right. I am into Mason. I only lied about it because I knew you'd totally lose your head. Gotcha. Anyway, Masson is in charge of his own life. Why aren't you having this conversation with him? You realize that the other Islanders are all watching. Oh, shit. Shouldn't have said that. I thought we were alone. <laughs> I said I was into Mason. Oh, shit. Mason now has hope. Oh, boy. I fucked up, guys. Guys, I fucked up. I made a mistake. This is not good. This is not good. From the loungers in the bar on the roof terrace. Masson is in the kitchen. He's trying to come and join you, but Levi is holding him back with a hand on his shoulder. <laughs> Yo, this is getting real good now. Listen, if I've learned one thing in my life, it's churches, la femme. How about you speak my fucking language, you dumb hoe? What does that even mean or don't be ridiculous? You know, I'm gonna pretend like I know what that means. Don't be ridiculous. Listen, bish bish. It's Mason pulls away from Levi and comes walking towards the pair of you, arms raised. <laughs> I'm gonna fight one of you hoes. Which one's it gonna be? Dudes, can you please chill? Always first to try to break up the fight, aren't you? Look, Allegra, you're being out of line. None of this is Bish Bish's fault. You can't even deny that you spent a lot of time with Bish Bish. I've been trying to spend time with everyone, babe. Remember how you were all cozy this morning out on the day beds? Where's my cozy little tete -tete? Ooh, that was cool. Tete -tete. Come on, guys, chill out, please. Why are you saying guys? I haven't said shit. How dare you tell me to chill out? Whose side are you even on? No side, I'm on no side. Well, you should be on my side. That's your problem, Masson. You're always in the middle. You never side with anyone. Ah. Uh, I think maybe we should break up. Yes! Because we're supposed to be a couple and you can't even back me up. Ugh, I don't even know where my head's at right now. It's right there. Top right corner of the screen. I was feeling so good about me and Mason, but now it's like, totally ruined. And it's all thanks to you, Bish Bish. 
You ruined my life. She looks at him deflated. He avoids making eye contact with either of you. Encourage them to break up or encourage them to stay together. <sighs> I'm so conflicted right now. Because if I encourage them to break up, then it's going to appear to everyone else that I'm um, <laughs> not only a troublemaker, but also that I'm into Mason. That's why I want them to break up. So he picks me. It's not what I want. You know? But at the same time, if I encourage them to stay together, then she's probably going to stay at the villa. If I encourage it, other people are going to look at me like, a, like I'm a homewrecker, you know? And I've been called that too many times, getting in trouble with married women. Huh. <laughs> Let's encourage them to stay together, because what I think is going to happen is Masson is going to man up and be like, you know what? No. Fuck off. I'm going to leave this bitch. And then kick Allegra off the island. Encourage them to stay together. Allegra seems to want to make it work. I think Masson wants to be with me, but at the moment he's trapped. Am I sure backing off is the right thing to do? They'll probably break up anyway at some point, but it might take days. Last chance. Oh, wow. Spend gems. Nah, I'm not gonna spend gems. Are you sure you don't want to spend gems? Yeah, game, I'm sure I don't want to spend gems. Spend gems! Fine. Don't spend gems then. Stay together! You sigh. <sighs> Allegra, you and Mason can totally make it work. I'm sorry if you think I've been acting snaky. Take the high ground. Everyone's watching. I'm on the high ground, bitch. Any fighter knows that you want the high ground. We're in a battle. We're in a duel. But if you want to make it work, you can make it work. You guys have some stuff to work out between you, but you clearly care a lot about this relationship. That's the most important thing. Uh, I don't even know. What do you think, Allegra? I think Bish Bish is right. I think we should try to make this work. <laughs> you're gonna act like you guys like each other. You want to break up with him. He wants to break up with you, but you're like, ah, let's just stay together. Oh, the hard eyes. How am I getting hard eyes? I just didn't want to spend gems and I didn't want to put myself in a bad position with the other house guests or villa guests, whatever. Contestants, what do you call these people? You walk away towards the others. Mason and Allegra are standing on the lawn looking at each other. After a few minutes, they go into the villa and bang it out in the bedroom. All right, Levi, Leavester, what's up? I feel like he wants to give me props for how I handled the situation. You spot Levi in the bedroom. How come you're not hanging out with the others? Oh, I don't want to get pulled into some long conversation about this thing with Allegra and Masson. I bet they're still talking about it now. <laughs> Am I okay after what happened? Yeah, fine, kind of bummed out or amazing. I'm gonna let him comfort me a little bit. I'm kind of bummed out. I'm kind of totally bummed out, Levi. The whole thing's left me really rattled. It hasn't. I'm sorry you feel that way. She just saw you as a rival at the end of the day. I've had exes like that. All about the drama. Always spoiling for a row. A row? Like a line? Like a group of people lined up? I mean, do you have feelings for Masson? Absolutely, I'm not sure or no, not at all. Okay, I don't. I don't. But if I just say no, not at all, then I seem spiteful for throwing it in Allegra's face, being like, yeah, I like him, and everyone heard that. So if I say no, then I look like a petty bitch. If I say I'm not sure, it encourages Levi to chase me. I can't believe I'm breaking down this much psychology in a game with 2D characters all making out for a grand prize. I'm not sure. So it probably was in Allegra's imagination then. Yeah, see? He comes out, supportive. If I said no, then I seem like a petty little bitch. A look of relief flashes across his face. Still, Masson could have made the situation much easier. How? Like, I think he's a nice guy and a good mate and all, but he's always trying to please everybody. He never takes anyone's side. He's not a team player. Is he gonna do another stupid fucking water polo analogy? What, and you are? Yeah, I am. Literally, I play on a team for a living. I understand this stuff. He's going there. That's where this conversation's going. Can I leave? Is there an option to leave? Look, I just want to say something, all right? Given that we're in private and everything, there's a pause. Levi looks like he's struggling with something. Just know that, like, I'm here for you if you ever want to talk about stuff, okay? If you ever get as upset as that, you can talk to me, all right? Do I trust Levi? Thanks or thanks but no thanks? No, he's being genuine. 
I don't know that I trust them all the time because people in the comments keep telling me he cheats. But maybe I'm the one that can make him not cheat. <laughs> uh, Alright, so let's go through this ad. Let's go through this ad. What is it gonna be? Choices again? Yeah. Who should I choose? The geek and that guy. That guy's a geek? Well, because he's wearing a button up shirt? Hot bad boy. He's got a tattoo. He must be bad. The row with Allegra is still ringing in your ears. Oh, gee, I was like, the row. What row is she in? Oh, yeah, it's that's slang for fight, I'm pretty sure. Or uh, a tiff. An argument. A kerfuffle. So, um, bish bish, what the hell just happened at the fire pit? None of your business, some bullshit, or something that needed to happen. Something that needed to happen. That's a very mature answer. Mm, I don't know if I would have been able to think of that answer. That's a really, really good answer. That's good. Something that needed to happen. Jed nods sagely. There is nothing sage about this girl. Do you hear her voice? No one with a voice that high can ever be sage. Oh, come on. Don't be all coy. Yeah, we need to know exactly what happened. You all listened in. You eavesdropped, you fuckers. Even though they saw everything, the group pesters you until you tell them the whole story. And so I left them to it. Good for them. Poor Allegra. Oh, you are Team Allegra? The whole thing makes me think I probably won't couple up with Allegra. Like, you would even have a choice. If she's that jealous, what does that say about her? Facts. I think she's been hurt before, she thinks everyone cheats, or she's a cheater. You know what, let's create some enemies. She's a cheater. I think she's a cheater. Yeah, I kind of think that too. It takes one to know one, right? That's definitely not true. Where are they now, anyway? What, are you gonna go rat on me, you little bitch? I think I saw them head up into the dressing room. A bit more private. No, I'm getting it. Oh my god, and all the excitement? I totally forgot we're getting two new islanders this evening. God, that would make some waves. Bish Bish, Miles, Allegra, and Mason all have relationships in tatters. This could really shake things up. Why? Why? You're like promoting the show now. You're not even like having a conversation with me. Everyone nods. There's a thoughtful silence. Why is everything sage and thoughtful? Why can't there just be a fucking silence? You chatted to everyone. Time to see what happens next. Two new islanders get everyone in a fluster. And Bish Bish makes her move. You won't want to miss it. Part of me wants to steal Mason just to fuck over Allegra. Part of me wants to choose Levi, but everyone's saying he's going to cheat on me. And a part of me wants to choose Talia. But I don't think it's gonna be an option quite yet in the game because it's the guy's choice for the thing, for the ceremony thing. No Love Island video next week. Because this is a good cliffhanger. This will assure people come back two weeks from now. <laughs> next week, maybe I'll play Choices. Maybe I'll play a different game. I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll see. I'll see. I'll see. Usually I put the first video of the Love Island series right there. But I'm gonna put last week's video because that was my favorite. <laughs> and then on the bottom there is the movie commentary series. Go check that out if you haven't watched any of those videos yet. Come back next week for another Gameplay Friday video. Even though it won't be Love Island, I will promise that it's going to be good and interesting and funny. You know I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.